Hey guys, uh, you knew it was coming. Um, I'm going to be reacting to uh, Zack Snyder's Army of the Dead. Full disclosure, I've actually seen this movie twice already, so this is going to be my third time. <laughs> the first time I was supposed to see it with my mom and my brother in a movie theater. Plans changed and I ended up just going to see it myself because I wanted to see it. Thank God I did because uh, I was able to to uh, you know plan ahead for the whole blowjob in zombie tits <laughs> um, to avoid the whole awkward you know scenes with my mom. Um, thankfully, we got there like we got there in time to miss the whole blowjob scene. And I told her to close her eyes until I told her <laughs> until I told her to open them, you know, with the zombie tits. So you know, avoid the disaster there. But. Um, but yeah, all seriousness, I did enjoy this movie. I love, I love this movie. To be honest, the more times I see it, the more times I love it. Of course, so many. The more times you to watch it, the more stuff you discover. There's been a lot of theories going around online uh, about exactly to what's happening, um, what's you know going on in the movie, um, possibility of future movies. So it's it's really it's really fun. Um, it's a fun movie. So. Um, yeah, let's just get right on into the movies. I already just want to mention, Zack Snyder's logo for his company is just already gorgeous. So somebody mentioned, and I did not notice this the first time, you notice the two glowing things in the background before they shoot off? Someone pointed out that those were UFOs. That would definitely be awesome because this is supposed to be Area 51. So awesome <laughs> that this is possibly alien uh, related. So, you know, it'd just be awesome if this be like an X-File or, you know, this was like a continuation of like the X-Files. <laughs> That'd be so fun. <laughs> yeah, but... So, I noticed, after like the second viewing, or obviously, he's wearing dog tags. So it's obvious he's supposed to be a soldier. Maybe he was experimented on by the military, or he was experimented on by the aliens, or whatever. Never a deal. I do like how we see them the way it used to be. They're holding up pictures of, of the way it used to be. See, this is what I fucking love about this. It goes from this really upbeat, jazzy music, and then it's more like melancholy and sadder. Just changing the tone of the song really changes the meaning behind it. The fact it talks about wanting more than 24 hours in a day. Before, it was about just spending money. Now, it's literally wanting to live and it's just it's just fucking heartbreaking <laughs> and such a genius use of this song I love Zach so much <laughs> Viva and even in Viva Las Vegas it takes on a different meaning right now um, the way it's being sung now as Vegas was walled off with the zombies left inside to haunt the abandoned city God, this just, this just reminds me so much of Doomsday. If you haven't watched Doomsday um, with uh, Metra... Rhonda Mitra? Is that how you say her name? I can never fucking remember how to say her last name. It's not technically a zombie movie. It's just a movie about, you know, contagion. And they end up walling... It takes place in Glasgow. And they end up... Uh, walling a city in because uh, uh, they end up walling it and contain the virus and ultimately makes it spread. Um, and so they send people in when they find out there are people still living in there, obviously immune. Send people in to get a uh, you know sample so that they can make a, a vaccine for it. Such a great movie. And a lot of this, um, I, I noticed a lot of hints, uh, parallels to that movie. So, 
Once you get done watching this one, go watch Doomsday. Such a great movie. It's such a fucking heartbreaking scene. But the actors, you know, acting was great. Job. Sucks ass. What are you guys doing here? Listen, I hate my life so deeply. If I had two million dollars, my life would change drastically. It's a doorway to another realm, my friends. And Providence has brought you to me. Why does you know his phrase a door to another realm? You know, make me so paranoid right now because of you know all the theories that are going around. Okay, so I know this is the first or uh, the trailer. Anybody else notice the Omega symbol on his chest? It looks like he was branded on his chest. I don't know if that's Zach just, you know, pretty much saying fuck you to Warner Brothers or or if that was supposed to hint at like there being like this alien presence that's influencing um, what's going on. I still fucking love it though. You reach the casino in less than two hours. You what I do love about this is the fact that it does a, uh, you know, the ho hoist trope of going through like the plan as it they think it should go, and then it's gonna it's completely different to what actually happens. She succumbs to the sheer dominance of his gentle touch. I do love Mada. <laughs> He has such a way with word when telling a story. <laughs> it's lemon squeezy now. Yeah, but I'm... I think it's fine if he's Japanese. I don't know. As you wish. Easy peasy lemon <laughs> I don't know what it is that makes me laugh so much, but the actor saying le lemon squeezy is just so fucking funny. <laughs> Probably because I just saw him in Mortal Kombat where he's so serious. And he, he just says that phrase and I just laugh. So, guess which character I immediately becomes? It's a Stover <laughs> in the movie. Yes, it's a short, it's a female character with a short blonde hair and guns. Hey. Hey. Not bad for you first time. So, so people have commented about how he was able to learn how to, you know, shoot relatively quickly and mention how that happens with other characters in the movie. And that would lend credence to the whole, this entire movie being just one time loop. You know, they keep doing the same thing over and over again to try to you know, succeed. Such a cool theory and I cannot wait for more of, of this universe. We're supposed to be getting a prequel universe or prequel like a show. Uh, assuming it happens in this Las, Las Vegas uh, when a zombie apocalypse happens and then uh, hopefully a sequel. Once again, the music in this is just great. I love it. I was listening to the soundtrack today at work, and it's just beautiful. Um, she didn't tell me that. Listen, if I knew she had kids... <laughs> See, here's the thing about Lily. She... It doesn't, you know, it, it makes you... Uh, you think that she just is this callous monster who just goes in and takes people in to make money or something like that. I'm not even sure if she makes money or not, but it, it seems throughout the movie she has this kind of code that she kind of lives by. She really just, like everyone else, trying to do what she can to survive while also helping others. She's a very interesting character. I definitely hope we get more of her character in the in this universe. Not now, not I do love this. I knew exactly when she wanted him to come along that she probably was going to fucking screw him over. I'm so happy about it. <laughs> he 
little eyebrow raise. <laughs> there they are. The shamblers. I do like the idea that there's like this guides or I'm not sure if she's the only one, but people will go into the city and explore and know exactly how to navigate it. Okay, let's go. Come on. <laughs> how, how much <laughs> I can't at them. They're so cute. <laughs> Usually stuff like that just, you know, annoys me. But for some reason, just the actors, I guess, they're so funny and cute. Can I touch it? Touching. Yeah. The fact that uh, uh, Lily is so seductive, she's always so sexy. I wouldn't have to do that, but I can't be lying. What are you talking about? Are I still want her shirt. I mean, I'm going to look, look for that shirt online. People, you know, when I first saw the movie, I saw the, the, the Dawn Queen running like that when someone else mentioned it online. I was like chuckling. I thought it was so cute because I thought it was just actors breaking, um, breaking character. Um, some people say, well, they should have cut it out. I loved it. <laughs> I don't think it was intentional, but I love that they kept it in. Go for it. Why? You want to check out my ass? No. I don't trust you to have our See, of shit. this is the only mistake that Chambers makes in a movie. Revealing that she doesn't trust him, that she knows he's up to something, but that automatically makes her a target. I love that she's smart enough not to just start shooting, you know, take him out one by one. Until, you know, you literally, ha you can't uh, take them all out, so, and then you can use your gun. Chambers is by far one of the most badass characters, <laughs> and her, her scenes are the most fun um, out of the entire sh uh, movie. And she definitely would have fucking gotten away if that bitch had, you know, her hand hadn't fallen on that fucking tray. Once again, the fact that she's so good at this, and yet she supposedly hasn't killed a zombie, would lead, you know, evidence to the fact that this is, you know, a loop. They learn to fight, they get better and better every time, and don't realize, you know, that they've done this before. The music during the entire scene is just so haunting and beautiful. They left her behind. <laughs> I'm so surprised he just jumps through the fucking window. Once again, proving how fucking badass she is. What the hell is this? Spend all his money on that fucking miniature? <laughs> uh, that line gets me. <laughs> Why is that dance so cute? <laughs> He comes up with the theory, the time loop theory. If this, in fact, a time loop, it doesn't, you know, it makes perfect sense that he would come up with it. Maybe not unconsciously, but he would uh, come up with the idea that what if, you know, this is a time loop? No, no, of course not. It's a rotating randomization mechanism, right, Mr. Van Affirmative. Yeah. What, I, <laughs> what I like about this. I think this is where Van finally grows to respect him and his ability because he's just like, he's so supportive of him when he gets so pissed whenever they mess him up. One thing I noticed how his spear resembles the the thunderbolt from like the statue of Zeus. So the cape, the thunder, and and the and the uh, the pipe, supposed to to symbolize the robes and the th thunderbolt of Zeus.
song just fits so perfectly with this, you know, just the, you know, losing everybody. It's just so tragic. Um, even that said that he, uh, he wrote this, the transcript while listening to this song. And I don't, what was it he said? He said that the, the movie doesn't break the song, the song breaks the movie. I think that's what he said anyways. Uh, and yeah, it's just, Zach is just a genius when it comes to movies. He's just so smart. But yeah, um, obviously there's so much shit to unpack in this movie. So many theories just flying around and it's so much fun to be honest to try to figure out what exactly might be going on. Um, honestly, yeah, like I said, I do always this movie. I keep like, I, I like it more and more as I, as I watch it because I keep learning more and more, figuring out more things. So, uh, of course, I, I like it. Um, right now, um, I'm probably going to make another video. There's an article going out about Zach talking about what exactly he has coming up, plans that he has coming up for the universe. So I'll probably just re go through that and give my thoughts on that and then also my thoughts on this movie and and stuff like that. So um, yeah, um, if you like this movie or uh, if you like this video, give it a like. If you loved Army of the Dead, if you love Zack Snyder, like this video, subscribe um, to get notifications for all the videos I'll be doing. I mean, I'll, f I'll eventually do all of Zack's movies, even the ones I've seen before, because it's always great to go rewatch them. Um, his movies are just great. Um, they're so great. So, um, uh, yeah. Uh, other than that, you guys have a nice night. Stay safe there, out there, and I'll talk to you later.